What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So for those of you that follow the channel, we just did our video in regards to how to fast charge and what accessories you need to fast charge your new iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max if you have one. And a lot of you guys are actually wondering the actual max charging speed or max wattage that you're going to get when charging this baby here. So yes, they moved to USB Type-C this year, but they did not increase the amount of power to charge your device. I don't know why they're still stuck at 27 watts allegedly for this new series. That was the same as what the 14 Pro, Pro, Pro Max were capable of. But after using it for a little bit of time, when it is at a lower state of charge, we did notice up to 30 watts of speed using the right cable and wall charger. I'll throw a link up for those below if you guys want to pick them up. They're Amazon affiliate links. We greatly appreciate it. If you use it, it definitely helps the channel out. So as you guys can see here and we'll see again, we are down to 4% on this device. And I want to go ahead and plug it in using the same cable we've been using now and show you where we're at. Let's go. All right, so like I said, as you guys can see here, we are down to 4% SOC or state of charge. We got our little charging cable with the meter uh, LED on the top. And I wanna show you right when you plug it in, what we're gonna get. So you can see charging 4% and right off the bat, we're jumping to 26, 27% or excuse me, uh, watts with power delivery. As you can see there, it does a PD. I'm just going to go ahead and lock it and let's see what that does. Additionally, it is 830 or 828 exactly right now. I do want to see how long it does take us to charge up to a higher SOC. So let me go ahead and set this down. We'll leave that here. I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys to see. And we are hovering right around 26, 27. So exactly the same as last year, like we said, uh, when in the car, we had a different charging cable as well. And there you go. You saw it hit 28 for a second. Um, we were hitting right around 29 to 30 at about a 13% state of charge. Uh, not sure why the difference in there, considering it's definitely not putting out 45 watts like this charging brick is. But if you want to fast charge your device, again, this cable and it's a simple cheap anchor 45 watt brick this will do it for you so i'll let this sit for a minute and we'll come right back and check all right so 10 minutes into the test you can see we're slowly dropping down from the 27 28 uh, watts and now in 10 minutes let's zoom back out a little bit you can see we got 25 percent state of charge now so up 21 percent in 10 minutes that's fast charging on an iphone again not as good as what you'll get on rivals by any means it's not even remotely close but you can see just how or i should say what to expect with this sort of charging cable to fast charge any of your iphone 15 pro or pro max phones so yeah, we'll keep this one short and sweet. We're not going to go all the way to 100 today. Uh, we'll time that out for another video. But if we were to guess, we would tell you it will take a little over an hour, hour and 20 minutes probably to fast charge the entirety of the phone from 0 to 100. I will call out we have all battery optimizations off, so it is not going to trickle charge to 80% and then go up from there. This is, as you would expect, in a traditional charging pattern. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.